Guys, it's XRabby2x here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Let's Play Aethermod. Now, I don't know if I've shown you guys this before, but this is the new uh, title screen for the Aether. I think it's really, really cool. I have no clue how they did this. But once you actually make a world in the Aether mod, there's these three buttons up top. Now, one quick load, which means it just directly um, gets you into the game to the last save. Normal theme just switches between the normal theme, I guess, <laughs> and the Aether theme, which I think the Aether theme is a lot cooler. And then toggle world, you can switch between different worlds. So let's say, all right, I already have one world right now, but let's say I had two worlds made. If you switch the toggle world button, it would go through the second world. Come on. Yeah, so you see it right here? It would go through the second world and show the second world like this. And if you press the Q button, then it would go straight into the second world instead of this world. Since I only have one world on this on this save, uh, let's go ahead and get in the game. Now, I did grow my MOA. Last episode, you just saw the little MOA. I did uh, take some time and actually grow him. But I didn't make a saddle yet. I didn't put saddle on him just yet. I don't think so. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to need leather and a string. Oh, I don't think I have. I do have sound on. I don't know. Can't hear anything. All right. Um. Wait. Let's see. Yeah, I can hear that. All right. Whatever. So I have a saddle. I'll put the acre plants in the chest. I don't want to lose those. And four. I tame this moa. I'll just plant a tree outside. Okay. Now, put a saddle on him, and look at that big guy. We have a tin moa. Now, I have to push him off the incubator because there's only two spaces here, so if I got on top, it would uh, hurt me. So, yeah, um, I need to make some kind of a, hmm, some kind of a th three by two hole for him so he can get out. Cover this up. Alright. So, I mean, I, I guess this works, but I don't want monsters coming in my house, so. Um. Hmm. Alright. I, I know how I'll deal with it. Alright. Now, um, I'm probably going to go look for more Xanite. I actually have enough Xanite. Well, I don't know, there's that dungeon on the bottom, but I do need to make an enchanter, first of all. And then I'm going to need to make, hmm, what else do I need to make? Uh, those holy stone, or those enchanted holy somethings, I don't even know. But for that, I'm going to need a lot more ambrosium, so let's get some ambrosium right now. I got enough pickaxes. Alright, let's go, Moa. These things are so cool. Close the door. And ooh, hello, Mr. Airwell. Huh. I don't know which way I should go. I guess I'll be looking for acre plants also. If I spot a white moa. Or if I spot a black moa. That'd be pretty awesome. But I'm definitely stopping for that. And I'm just pretty much looking for ambrosium. Now I did find the recipe for okay, there's a blue one. I did find the recipe for the uh enchanter. But this was a few days ago, as I've been kinda busy doing some other stuff. Mm, if you have seen my other video I've been making a mod. Um yeah, I've looked at the in recipe. And by now I forgot it already, so I think it's uh, eight holy stone and then uh, ambrosium shard in the middle. All right, I, I have no clue. Maybe I'll pause this video and look. That depends. I mean, I mean, I kind of need it, 
I kind of need the Enchanted Holy Stone to fight the um, Bronze Dungeon boss. But if I play it smart, I might not even need it, so I won't make that much of it. Mm -hmm. Alright, I have no clue where this thing is. There's, I mean, uh, oh, right, here it is. Okay, I found some Ambrosium. Hey, stay, stay. I love the new MOAs. I mean, I thought the MOAs were the coolest thing, but in the last patch, I got a MOA, and they despawned as soon as you either left the game or um, if you walk too far. Hey, oh, that was a Zephyr. I thought it was a MOA. Yeah, if you walk too far, then uh, it simply just despawned, and uh, you were out of a saddle and then an egg. Ooh. Which was kind of sad because you couldn't get saddles in the, in the Aether for this patch either. So I had to get like a lot of saddles. It wasn't even worth it, but oh well. I mean, now I think I only need one saddle unless my moat dies. Which I don't even know if they can die, and I, I don't really want to find out right now. So, yeah. Looking for more Ambrosium. Kind of want to go down there, but I kind of don't because I know I'll fall. Mm. Ow. Anything in here? Nope. I can maybe go mine in that dungeon right now. Well, actually, I'll go and try to loot the chest. I got 45 Ambrosium. That should be fine. I would need a different sword. Um, yeah. I think I'm actually gonna go make a Holy Stone sword. Can my mole come with me here? Let's go. I don't know if you can climb stairs. Whoa, what? Sweet. Just popped out an egg. Alright, so you need two spaces. Um, Alright, you know what? I'll just dig you away out. I'm gonna get a, a Holy Stone Sword for now. Just get the chest. Open the chest. Kill the little... Uh, I don't even know what they are. I think they're sweats, but they're not really. Oh. Because, I mean, they just. If you step on certain blocks, they just kind of spawn it right at you and try to kill you. They're, they're not that hard to kill, though, so. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, I hope the. Ah, oh, the portal is right above me. I don't know if my mole can make it up here. I hope I don't fall down. This is ice, uh, ice blocks. Ah, oh, sweet ambrosium. Yeah, those are ice blocks. It, they kind of look like holy stone, but they're not. They uh, freeze everything around you. Well, not everything. I mean, like, if you're standing in water, they freeze all the water around you. If you're standing in lava, I think they turn the lava into obsidian. I'm not sure. But, uh, they're also, there's also a new recipe out in this patch to make freezer, um, freezer... I don't know what they are. Something like an enchanter, but it's a freezer, and, uh... I don't know what it's powered by, really. I haven't really looked into it, because they said that it didn't have much purpose in this patch just yet. But they're making more stuff to it. So, yeah. I guess it, like, freezes stuff. I mean, if you put, like, a bucket of lava in there, I think you get, like, obsidian back. I'm not sure. Alright, I hate that. Okay, so I'll make a sword and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back, guys, and 
uh, while I made my Holy Stone Swords, as you see, I did go and grab that Enchanter, um, Enchanter recipe, and it wasn't, uh, eight, it, well, actually was eight Holy Stone, but instead of Ambrosium in the middle, it's actually one Xanite. Get an Enchanter. You get an achievement, you believe in magic. So, we're gonna put that down. Mm, get some holy stone in there. And half of these. I think we might, yeah, I'll just put all of them in. Well, no, no, I won't. I'm gonna need some for the fight. Well, right now I'm not gonna fight the boss, I'll wait for these. But, yeah. Put uh, everything back in here. Another egg. Sweet. I don't know why I'm collecting eggs. I have no clue why I'll need them. But they're useful. Um, so, Holy Stone Sword. I need dirt. I have swords. I won't need you, actually. Mr. Moa. So, I'll block this off. Some monsters are getting here. And I'll go venture out into the dungeon by myself. I'll heal up real quick. I really need to somehow enclose this because I know one day I'll just fall off. Alright. So. See, I think. I mean, I'm not sure how this works. But. Alright, see, I didn't step on that yet. But. I think. Like, randomly, they just spawn. If you're stepping inside of this area, these things just spawn. At first, I thought it was just. Uh, what? Okay, so I guess they just blow up. Okay. Now, if you step anywhere, like in this area, they just spawn. First thought, I thought it was just those blocks, but it's not. They're just there. Ooh, an agility cape. Okay, I'll take that. Xanon pickaxe. That'll be awesome for the fight. What's an agility pa uh, I mean, agility cape. Alright, now if you press B, you get a book of lore. Now, this. This, uh can be done either in, uh, the aether the nether and normal minecraft and you get the book of lore pertaining to that actual uh, realm gives the player the ability to walk up blocks without jumping what alright that's awesome so I'll put that on let's test it out oh my god that is so awesome man it's gonna save me a lot of clicking the other one in the chest because if I don't want to lose it, let's put this anti pickaxe in here. Mm, let's see how the healing stones are doing. We'll see how that works in a while when I get hurt. Alright, I can throw this book out. Again, you just press B in any of the realms and you get a book. I'm pretty sure they're unlimited. Let me try again. Yeah, they're unlimited. You no longer get them from chests. What is that? Oh, that's a sheep. Yeah, you no longer get them from chests. Uh, from dungeon rewards. Ooh, if you actually try to jump. Oh, okay, so there's no more chests. There's just a boss. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't want to just do the boss right now because I know I'll probably die. I don't have the food necessary. Um, I'll take this chest while I'm at it. Can't waste a good chest. Um, I think I'm just gonna let the healing stone run its course. I don't know why I'm jumping. Man, this cape is so awesome. But yeah, I think I'll just let the healing stone make and I'll cut the video right here. Wait for the healing stone. Oh man, it's gonna take a long time. Yeah, wait for the healing stone, and then in the next episode, I'll get straight to the bronze dungeon. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, or subscribe. Um, yeah, that's about it. See you in the next episode.